I'm Dr. Andy Engel with the American Optometric Association. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to optimize your glasses for use in your cockpit. If you wear bifocal lenses, you know that head movements are often required to find the appropriate part of your lens. Excessive head movements, while IFR, can cause spatial disorientation. To minimize head movements, the pilot's glasses should be designed specifically for use in their cockpit. Two parameters needed for optimal design are the power of the bifocal and its height in front of your eyes. Being able to focus on all instruments across the cockpit requires careful measurement of working distances. You can find a form designed to take to your eye doctor prior to your visit to your AME on the American Optometric Association website. To gather the required data, get into your airplane and adjust everything as if you were going to fly. Have a friend measure and record the distances from your eyes to the critical instruments on your instrument panel. Don't forget any yoke-mounted charts or instruments. An automobile has a much lower glare shield than an aircraft, so bifocal heights may be different between the car and the cockpit. With one eye closed, you can use a post-it note to measure the proper height of your bifocal. Sitting in your cockpit, look over the top of the glare shield. Use a post-it note to block your view of the instruments. The top of the post-it note should be in line with the glare shield. Take your glasses to your eye doctor with the post-it note in place so they can accurately measure the bifocal height. Keep your eyes right for flight. See your optometrist prior to your aviation medical. In addition to assessing your ocular health, they can make sure you pass the required vision tests before you see your AME.